I continue my travels around the world, I have now made my way to a place that is legendary among travelers. I'm Michael Murphy, and this is Destination Unknown, the Gilly Islands. The Gilly Islands are made up of three beautiful islands located off the northwest corner of Lombok in Indonesia. One of the things that has kept the Gillies a paradise is the only way to get there is by boat. You have two choices. You can take the slow boat or you can take my recommendation and hop on the high speed boat that will whisk you away and have you in paradise in less than three hours. Arriving at the main island of Gili Taronga, you realize immediately that the Gili Islands are truly what paradise is all about. That's the, um, yeah, the swimming beach where everyone pretty much hangs out all day long. After finding out the best location on the beach, I immediately took off in search of accommodation. There's a wide range of accommodation throughout the Gili Islands. I wound up at the beach bungalows of Eagle West where I was greeted by the friendly staff. <laughs> Making your way down to the beach, you'll discover immediately that there's many different places to kick back and enjoy the afternoon. And once you've found your spot, all that's left to do is sit around and enjoy the beauty that is the Gilly Islands. Coming to a place like the Gilly Islands, it's extremely easy to get stuck on the beach and go out and partying all night. And believe me, I'm the first one to admit that. But one thing you need to do here is just take a walk to the local village. This is a couple of things. It gives you a chance to come back here and see how the local people are living. And it also gives you a chance to maybe meet a few of the locals and find out what island life is like for these people. Tourism has dramatically changed this island. And it's the one thing these people are completely dependent on it. And they also have a lot of insight into what it means to enjoy a place like this. I'm walking down here. I'm going through the village here in Taranga, Gili Tea. And this is an excellent way to come and just meet a few of the local people and see how they're living. And it's one of the things I always try to do whenever I'm visiting a place like this, is to get out and meet the locals. Another thing that makes the Gili Islands unique is there's no automobiles on any of the islands. The only way to get around is by horse-drawn carriage or bicycle or my personal favorite just walking around and discovering the magic that is the Gili Islands. So this is the one thing here in the Gili Islands. After lounging around on the beach all day, hanging out with some amazing people, swimming in the tranquil blue water, there's nothing better than to go with Bintang and enjoy an amazing sunset out here. I have to say one thing. When I first was thinking about coming to the Gilly Islands, I had no idea really what to expect. Would it be overdeveloped? Would it be what I had envisioned after all these years? And I can honestly say the Gilly Islands are even more than what I thought. This really is an amazing place, and I'm really thankful that I finally got a chance to see these incredible islands. Now, the only right thing to do, enjoy an ice cold beer, beautiful sunset, and hang out with some more of my amazing friends. Travel on. After the sunset, that's when the Gilly Islands really come to life. But before heading out for a night of partying, it's a good idea to head off to one of the mini restaurants and enjoy one of the seafood buffets. Another option when you're here in Gilly Tea is to make your way to the local market. And believe me when I tell you this food is absolutely incredible and it's cheap. So it's a great way to save a little bit of money and get to experience some of the local cuisine. I'm gonna head over here and get myself a piece of chicken. I've had some rice, eggs, it's really good. But this is the one thing, once again, if you're gonna come here to the Gilly Islands, don't just go to the local restaurants, get out and explore and get to try some of the local cuisine. I love Gilly Islands. After a good meal, most people took off to enjoy the nightlife that the Gilly Islands is famous for. But I gathered several of my friends and we headed back down to the beach where we listened to some good blues music had several bintangs, and I think everyone realized what a special time we all had in the Gilly Islands. But I know you are. Throughout my travels, I've been able to visit some of the most famous beaches on the backpacking circuit. Boracay in the Philippines, Koh Samui in Thailand, and Goa. 
All these places have changed dramatically over the years. And here in the Gilly Islands, the biggest thing is, can this place keep its charm? Can it keep the magic that this place offers? I don't know the answer to that, only time will tell. But I will say this, this really is one amazing place and I'm so thrilled that I finally got a chance to visit the Gilly Islands. And with that, my friends, I'll have to bid you farewell. Until we meet again on the road less traveled, as always, travel on.